What's going on? What's going on? We live again, man. Derek Jackson here for those who don't know. Thank you for stopping by. For those who are coming back again, thank you for returning. You know, before we even get started, I want to make a couple announcements. Uh, for those of you that are coming to my meet and greet, my Mentally Stimulate Me game night, actually, in New York on June 1st, um, I will have the card decks there for you to purchase so you can wait until you get it. I appreciate y'all getting all them tickets too. Uh, but yeah, man, what I wanted to talk about was I've, I've been seeing a lot of messages from y'all and I'm loving it. I'm loving the DMs about how you guys are speaking up about what you want. You know, you, you're, you're making your stance firm. You're not you're not tolerating no bullshit no more. Like you're, you're being affirmed in what you want in your relationships and dating and all of that. I love that. You know, men are not mind readers. You do have to speak up. But what I don't want that to turn into is a relationship where you end up giving a lot of ultimatums. You know what I'm saying? Because like you don't have to give all these ultimatums when it's real. You just don't. And don't get me wrong. Ultimatums have their place. Like both you and your man. As a woman, you and your man are going to have some point in a long-term relationship where y'all kind of fall off. Y'all get kind of inconsistent. Maybe you just in one of your funks or your moves or whatever shit is going on. I don't know. But an ultimatum may jog you back to that place where you need to be. That's cool. But if you find yourself giving an ultimatum at the ultimatum at the ultimatum, what you're doing is you're training that guy to wait until you get to your limit before he acts right or before he compromises or before he listens to you or before he meets you halfway. You know what I'm saying? Like, and, and the next step after that is waiting until you already out the door. That's the next step. If you give an ultimatum for every single thing that you want, I'm saying like, like more than once a year, and really it shouldn't even be that often. But if you find yourself giving ultimatum after ultimatum after ultimatum, it's going to get to a point where you, you have to be all the way out the door before he even thinks he's going to, you know, compromise and do right. And by that time, hell, you may have gotten your trust broken. You may have been feeling neglected. You may, may have been already emotionally up and down, mentally in a bad space, treating other people wrong because your relationship is fucked up and you don't want to get to that point. What you want is a man who self-imposes that I got to make this happen. You know what I'm saying? So it's not even an ultimatum when you want something done, when you need something from him. It's, it's more so like you state and, and say what it is you want. Maybe it's uh, wanting to spend time with him and have his undivided attention so that whenever you guys are chilling, he's not on his phone, he's not taking calls, he's not doing work, he's not doing something else. He's strictly focused on you. When it's real, that man is going to put that into the category of I got to make it happen. And I know some of y'all may not be happy with that, but I'm going to keep it all the way G with y'all, man. Just being realistic. In the beginning, it's going to be what he's got to do because he's doing something unnatural. He's doing something clearly he wasn't doing before. So it's uncomfortable. But men, we work like this. We look at the end goal and then we look at the process to get there is what we got to do. And after a while of doing that process, it grows on us, especially if your energy reciprocates in a positive fashion. So like I said, it may be, you know what, baby, I need more from you whenever we are chilling. I want us to be able to just chill, watch TV an hour a day or talk an hour a day or read a book an hour a day or go out for a walk an hour a day. It's going to go for him. It's not even going to be an ultimatum. It's going to be shit. If that's what it's going to take to make you happy, if that's what it's going to take for you to be fulfilled and for you to know that I care about you, for my love to be accurately and effectively communicated to you, then that's what I got to do. Like we made that phrase fucking famous. Dudes on the block selling drugs, dudes doing, you know, all this shit, dudes training for a sport or whatever. And they might not even like what they're doing at the time, but guess what? It's what they got to do. You, you want to be that person that's worth doing what he's got to do in order to keep you happy, in order to keep you around. Like, you don't have to give demands and, you know, threaten to leave and, oh, I'm, I'm finally going to be gone this time. I'm finally going to be done with you. Like, if he didn't care any time before you are actually getting ready to leave out the door... Baby girl, he don't give a fuck, period. You may scare him for the moment or whatever, but if he really, if he really willing to try you up until the point where you reach your limit, he really don't care. That ain't that ain't a relationship you want to be in. You want to be in a relationship where the guy is saying, you know what, I, I expect to have to grow. I expect to have to do something that's uncomfortable, something that I ain't used to doing. I expect that. So whenever it gets brought to my attention, okay, cool, now I got a chance to do right. That's what I got to do. And like I said, if he compromising, you should be compromising too. Once you're getting more of him, you should be compromising in ways that you can grow for him. And whenever he's getting that from you, you give it six months to a year of him doing whatever it was, him meeting you halfway, and it's going to turn into, you know what? It ain't so bad chilling with my girl uninterrupted. 
You know, it, it, it ain't so bad listening to her, just having a chance for us to listen and talk and connect and bond or whatever it is that we do. It's kind of cool. It goes from what I got to do to I actually enjoy it now because it makes the relationship better. You feel what I'm saying? But your only job should be to just state what it is that you need, to just make it, make it clear to him what it is that you want and then give him a chance to adjust. Not making ultimatums, not scaring him, not threatening him. When you got to do all of that, you basically trying to demand him to be a man. You ain't got to demand no grown ass man to be a man. That's that's next to raising him. His mama should have did that. So, you know, just a word of advice, man. Like, you ain't got to force a man to be a man for you. If you're the woman that he wants in his life, he'll force himself to be the man that it takes to deserve that. I'll let y'all later, man. Peace.